The slow characters in Smash always seem to be the heavy hitters, but because of their speed, they struggle to keep up at higher levels of play. King Koopa, on the other hand, got a huge speed boost in Smash 4, and his custom moves make him even more of a powerhouse. Let's break down each of Bowser's custom sets and determine the best move set for casual and competitive play. Neutral Special 1 is Fire Breath and hasn't changed much since Brawl and Melee when it comes to overall usefulness. However, in Smash 4, it's received quite a buff in speed, power, and range, so it's a good little tool to get some quick damage in or stop an approach. Koopa Claw is Bowser's default side special, and because it's a command grab, it has super armor on startup. Both you and your opponent can influence how far Bowser jumps, but the player with less damage will have more control overall. At high percents, Koopa Claw is a great kill move and a quick game ender if you're up a stock. If you and your opponent are both on your last stock, however, Bowser will either die first or at the same time as his opponent. Down Special 1, Bowser Bomb can now break shields in one hit as well as hit enemies on the way up with his horns for a guaranteed Bowser Bomb on the way down. It's a great kill move as it's always been and it's amazing for racking up kills in free-for-alls or team battles. You can still cancel it by grabbing the ledge, but due to the new mechanics, you won't be able to grab the ledge if you just jumped off of it, so only use it if you're higher up. Whirling Fortress is Bowser's default up special, and it's still a great move out of shield to deal with pressure, has decent knockback and damage, and is actually great as a recovery move. It doesn't get much distance on the ground, but mashing the B button in the air will give Bowser slightly more horizontal range, and when recovering, every bit counts. Fire Shot turns Bowser's neutral special into a projectile, and it's actually not that bad. It covers half the length of Battlefield and travels pretty quick. It doesn't have much knockback despite it being a massive fireball, and the long cooldown time makes it hard to follow up, but you can use this move to stop your opponent from approaching. Side Special 2 Dash Slam is exactly what it sounds like. Bowser quickly slides forward and performs a Koopa Claw, but with slightly less height and knockback, and you can also use it in the air to help you recover back to the stage. It's also important to note that this move looks like it has a lot more range than it does. Bowser's grab range with Dash Slam is roughly a quarter of the length of Battlefield. Turbulent Bomb is down special too and really makes a mockery of the Bowser Bomb. This custom move trades his knockback for a gust of wind surrounding Bowser as he lands. Even if you land right on top of your opponent, the knockback is still a joke. You can use this move like Mario's Flood to push enemies off stage who have already used their up special or just overshoot the ledge, but at higher levels of play it's rare that you see that happen. Up special 2 is Flying Fortress, which gives Bowser a ton of vertical recovery range. Its low knockback makes it pretty unsafe to use out of shield unless there's a platform above you to land on, because if there isn't you'll be helpless for a long way down. But you can recover from pretty far below the stage, which is a huge plus and something Bowser has never had the privilege of doing. Neutral Special 3 is called Fire Roar, and it might be even more useless than Bowser's Turbulent Bomb. Although this move comes out extremely quick and has a ton of range, Bowser runs out of fire in about a second or two and then takes almost 15 seconds to recharge. This move pretty much serves the exact same purpose as the first two neutral specials, but does a much worse job. Side Special 3 Dash Slash has slightly more range than Dash Slam, but it's just a low knockback attack as opposed to a command grab. Because of its ending lag, it's hard to follow up, however if your opponent fails to react correctly, you can try to follow up Dash Slash with another move. Both dashing side specials also give Bowser an amazing movement option, allowing him to dash or jump one way and then instantly attack or grab the other way, perfect for dodging and counter-attacking. Down Special 3 Slip Bomb doesn't give Bowser much horizontal distance, and you also have to be pretty close to an opponent to make them trip from the impact. Although it has a little bit more knockback than Down Special 2, it still lacks the kill power needed to get the job done, and it's also important to note that Bowser no longer hits enemies on the way up with his horns. Sliding Fortress is Bowser's third up special, and on the ground it covers the entire length of Battlefield. In the air it gets a bit less horizontal distance, but it still has a hitbox to protect Bowser while he's recovering. Due to its fast startup and single hitbox, this move is great for quickly getting out of bad situations on stage, and is a great defensive option out of shield. Neutral Special 2, Fire Shot. Side Special 2, Dash Slam. Down Special 1, Bowser Bomb. Up Special 1, Whirling Fortress. This moveset gives Bowser a real projectile, which is something he's never had, as well as a fast new movement option into a mid-range command grab. 
Fire Shot doesn't need to recharge like Neutral Special 1 and 3, and because it's a real projectile, it gives Bowser a lot more stage control. Use it on stage to make opponents approach you, or use it at the ledge to make it harder for opponents to recover. Dash Slam only gets a minor knockback nerf compared to Koopa Claw, but the sliding mechanic is extremely useful. With the added speed and movement option, you can control a lot more of the stage a lot better. As mentioned earlier, you can use it out of a dash dance or an empty jump to catch opponents off guard, or even use it in the air while recovering for a huge horizontal boost. When it comes to Bowser's down special, neither of his customs deserve to end in the word bomb. The knockback on those moves is a complete joke. Bowser Bomb now breaks shields, has two hitboxes, and is a great kill option in both one-on-one -on -one and free-for-alls in teams. Bowser's default up special is a pretty good move in terms of range and knockback, unlike up special 2 and 3. It's a decent horizontal recovery move as well as a great option out of shield to do some damage and escape pressure. Its vertical range has also received a slight buff, so you might not be stuck under battlefield like old times after all. If you like this moveset, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up or just leave me a comment down below. If you missed last week's video, we counted down the top 5 final smashes, and EMG just finished their top 25 Apex plays, so definitely check those out as well. For more custom corner episodes or any of my other series, just check out the info section below. I'm EMG Smash Central, thanks for watching, and happy smashing!